We are at the Patoka River National Wildlife Refuge, Boyd Station, uh, just on a trail that overlooks Snaky Point. And Wynn and I, um, Amy and Ethan are here, but Wynn and I are going to do a little bit of a evaluation of some of the great hiking trails in our area. So you'll get my opinion on it, but then you'll get Wynn's opinion of, of uh, what she thinks about it too. What do you think so far, Wynn? How's it, what, are you, what are you expecting? Good or bad or what? Well, the gravel road... When I was on the gravel road, I was expecting bad, and when I saw the marsh, I was expecting really bad. This looks pretty good, though, right? Mm, looks okay. Well, let's go see what's in the box, if anything's there, okay? What box? Right up ahead where Mom's at. Oh. Usually, sometimes along here, to the, where the wood is, see, there's a place where you can sign in so they know who the guests are. And you, a lot of times, there's uh, walking sticks and things like that that people leave for each other. But it's kind of early in the season. In. Well, maybe we can do that on the way out. Okay. okay. Looks like there's a place for some classrooms, you know, outdoor classroom yeah. type stuff here. So, this is where we got. Sometimes during the year they have coloring books here. You want to get a map? I'll tell you what, before you always check. Sometimes there's, it's too early probably, but sometimes the wasps will get in here. All right. You got that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's start it's walking. Like, it's like about plants and stuff. Oh, nice. We'll take a look for them. Yeah, like spice bushes, black walnuts, woodpecker wood. Excellent. Uh -oh, All right. We better catch up. Zero. So, not too far into the trail, there's a nice little overlook that goes out into the water. And right now, there's not a whole lot. You know, there might be some ducks out there. And this, but, this is really nice because it has like chairs and stuff. I just noticed that. Yeah, yeah, really and nice. and in the fall, this this ground will all be covered. The water will all be covered with um, lily pads with white flowers on them. Cool. It's really pretty, and a lot of times there's a whole bunch of pelicans and things like that here. These benches look very nice. Not unusual to see bald eagles over there. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and Mom, that corner right there. Life of Western Sandpiper there last year. Western Sandpiper. Definitely can get some good birds. Yep. So, we have gotten to the top of the ridge. We had been, let's see here, if you look, the last place we filmed was, um, there it is. See, we were on that, see it wind, on that yeah. overlook over there? Wow. So now we've walked all the way around the lake and we are looking down at this beautiful sight on a beautiful I, Sunday afternoon. I don't think I can walk all the way back there again. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, maybe Ethan will carry you. What do you think of the, the walk so far? Uh, it was fine, except when we got out of the woods. One park, it was a little warm, wasn't it? But not bad. Not bad. It's Over nice to be warm. Over here is nice. The bench is nice and cold. Got a nice bench. All right. Nice Over bench. here, this this is, uh, as I said, where the water is, is Snaky Point. Uh, we dro walked up the, the trail, which was Boyd Station. But on the other side over here, there's another place you may hear of if you're looking for places, and it's Columbia Mine. And um, it's lots and lots of grassland, and there's trails and stuff that go through there. Um, pretty pretty neat area. Sounds it looks like a good place for snakes. Well, that's what e Ethan's looking for, isn't he? We haven't found any snakes yet. I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> all right. So if we find snakes, does that make this a, a bad, will you give it a bad review? Only at this part. Okay. Out of the woods. We'll warn people if we see snakes where we found them in case they don't like snakes, okay? All right, sounds good. So what we found? Either a beaver or a muskrat. Kind of far away. Let's see if we can get it. The sun is against us here. And slow.
Maybe we'll be able to see it because right now I can't see anything but my reflection. <laughs> and I can't see anything but I have black screen. water moving so he must be around there somewhere. Well hopefully you're able to see him but there's definitely I, I, I'm guessing a muskrat down there. I think we may have an owl pellet. Yeah and you don't want to see it. See the, uh, the bones there? There's quite a few of them around. There's more. I seen. I saw more over there and some more over there. Really? When we came, I just thought it was like some plant or something. Huh. Well, it may not be, but something, something, coughed up hair and bone. Yum. Which is gross. <laughs> Does that make this a better hike or a worse one? Uh, I still like the woods better. Okay, let's get to the woods then. Yes. We're almost to the woods. Almost back in the shade. Yes, almost back to the coolness. Mm. All right, we, we have a, a trifold that they had. And it has numbers on each one of the things. Like we hold this up. We just we just looked at the black walnut. No, the white, the, the black cherry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we just looked at the black cherry number 10. Now... now Sassafras is next, right? 11, that little tiny tree okay. right there. And is see, sassafras. there's the number 11 they have on their little loop trail just off the parking lot. They have these signs. It's either that one or that one. This one they're is. both the same. If oh. you look at the bark, they're both the same. See, 11. That and, one's a better one. Right and what there. is it? Sassafras. Sassafras. So that's kind of a nice thing about this has, park. It has something that says... A long-lived tree, the oh, sassafras, can be identified by the three different leaves on its branches, the mitten, the football, and the ghost. Once the tree is mature, it only produces the football-shaped leaves. It is, its dark blue berries are loved by a variety of wildlife, and the roots can be used to make root beer and tea. I would definitely have a root beer float right now. Yes. And see, number 12. Uh huh. Ooh, I don't know if you're going to be able to. That's pretty. You got to go down there. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to. There's some thorns and stuff. That's grown up. You can kind of, it's pretty eaten up here. I don't think you'd be able to do it too good, but you can see the rings, right? Yep. One, two, three, four. That'd be a lot of rings and to count. And you know how uh, thick it, uh, how old it is. Right, by the rings. Nice. So that's one of the nice things about this trail is you can, it's a self-guided walking trail where you can learn about a little bit about wildlife and trees. Yeah, the next one is a spice bush. Spice bushes, you know what that sound is? No. That's a wood duck. Wood ducks just flew in across the, my favorite, and that, favorite local duck, wood duck just flew in. And that with a car. Yes, and a car. And turkey vultures overhead. All right, oh, there's 13. There's our last one. Nope, not the last one. Oh, it's not? There's more. There's 20. Holy moly. Okay, I'm turning it off. <laughs> Hi, Wynn. What do you think overall? Your impressions? I would give it a 8. An 8? That's pretty good. 8 out of 10. That was a nice day. And we didn't even check it all out. Look at all the birds, blackbirds flying there. We've got, we've got marsh across the way, and you can walk over there. They've got nice flowers over there. They have a nice restroom I hear. I was here when they built that, and they put a lot of work into that. So it actually is kind of nice that they have that. Most of the places around here don't. Um, very nice. We're going to go. We lost the boy, so we're going to go find him. He wandered off into another preserve, so we got to drive to find him. We did but not see any snakes. We did not see any snakes. We are not disappointed though, it's a great place.